own soul say. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. Right. Right. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this fight. Right? Right. Okay, watch this. All right, give me the Revelation 1 and 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the true image of Jesus Christ according to the Bible. Okay? Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head. Verse 13. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So let me ask you this. Which one of these do you see seven candlesticks on? Is it over here or is it over there? See the seven candlesticks behind him? Watch this, go ahead. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is Jesus Christ, go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So Jesus Christ had a long garment on that came all the way down to his foot. Go ahead. And girt about the path with a golden girdle. And around his waist he had a golden belt on. Go ahead. His head and his hair were white like wool. Now which one of these... Which one of these images have white and woolly hair? Huh? Which one got white and woolly hair? All right, go ahead. As white as snow, meaning it's fully white. Like mine, you see, it's look, it looks gray because it's black and white. His is fully white. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Which one has red eyes? That one, right? Okay, so that's strike two for these images over here. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine bread. Now let me ask you a question, sis. Are your feet basically the same color as the rest of your body? So it said his feet look like fine brass. Does somebody got, give me an image. Give me an image of uh, burnished brass. So you see that? That's brass right there. What color is that? That's a derivative of brown. It's a shade of brown, right? You see that? That's, all, that's basically like your color, right? So it says Christ... His feet look like fine brass. Now watch this. This is going to explain it further. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned in a furnace. Now if you take something and you burn it in a furnace, what color does it become? Huh? Black, right? So Jesus Christ was a very dark-skinned man with white and woolly hair. Jesus Christ looked like that brother right there. Officer Finn, turn around. He, Jesus Christ was that color. All right? Not, not this right here. Okay. Oh, praise. praise! Jesus Christ was this color. Okay, and he had, and, and he had white and woolly hair. Okay, so this right here, this is an image that was created during the Renaissance, or around the, the the 15th century. Okay, and given to us as the new image of Christ. This right here is a lie. This is the image of the beast. Okay. So don't ever let nobody tell you that Christ is a white man. Christ is a black man. Okay, from the tribe of Judah. Give me, give me that Jeremiah 14 too. Let me show you what color all the tribe of Judah are. Okay? Read that. Jeremiah 14 too. I'm back here to get that word, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh-huh. 
on now. Okay, hold on one second. Let me give you two scriptures. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. So the scriptures say the Jews are black like the ground. Okay? Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. Let me show you one other thing, sis. Go ahead. Proverbs 3 and 5. The book of, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Okay, so when it comes to these scriptures, we can't lead on our own description, on our own on our own understanding. We have to believe what the Bible says, right? Give me um Give me that. So let me ask you one question before you leave. Why you do the why you do the blonde the blonde braids, sis? Stay the topic. Stay the topic. Huh? Stay the topic. The topic is the Bible, Stay the brother. Topic. All right, then what the hell got to do with it? I'm gonna show you. Give me that. The, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So the Bible says we are not to envy our oppressors and we're not to choose their ways. We know that the other nations naturally have the blonde hair. So a lot of our a lot of our people, because that's the image of beauty that's been given us on the on TV, like we see all of the uh we see the rappers, we see the Meg the Stallion, we see the Cardi B's, and they all wear the blonde hair. It's because they envy their oppressors. And then our young women, they see that and because that is the image of success that's painted. Now we want to do the those things. But the Bible says what? Envy thou not the oppressor uh -huh. and choose none of his way. Because God made you perfect. Okay, with your natural hair that grows out of your head, he made you perfect. And he said you don't need to look like them to be beautiful. The most like God said he's the author of beauty. And what do we just read about him? That he's a dark skinned black man. Right? Okay? Give me that, give me that in uh, give me that in uh, Leviticus 13, 30. Give me that real quick. Hey, listen as you're walking away, sis. Go ahead. This ain't no skin tone. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight, deeper than the skin, uh -huh. and there be in it a yellow, thin hair. So, a yellow, thin hair. Even, even for the brothers that's doing the blonde tips and all that. The scriptures say if you got yellow hair in your head that does not naturally grow out of your that's head, right. that it's a plague upon that's your head. Right. Right. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. The priest shall pronounce him what? Unclean. Hey, look, we believe the Bible. The Bible says that's unclean. Go ahead. It is a dry skull. Do you got a question, brother? We just here to edify our people. We had to teach our people what the Bible says. Not our own opinion. That's the Bible. We teach the whole Bible. What part of the Bible would you like to learn, sir? I'll sit down with you and talk to you. What? Don't perform it. We'll never do it justice. I'll sit you down and talk to you. Don't perform it. Never. Because I will never disagree. We're teaching the Bible right now. No, you teach the skin color in hell. That's that was where we are when you walked up. Teach the word. We are. That is the word. Right, is the Bible right. open? Uh, is the Bible right. open? Watch are the words coming? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Right, hey, bro, what do you believe in? Jesus Christ. Okay, so who is Jesus Christ? You believe in you? Do you believe in this Christ or this Christ? Which one do you believe in? Read Revelation one fourteen. Let's get John seven thirty eight. Okay, so so did Christ walk this earth? Did Christ walk the earth? Did Christ walk the earth? See, this is what we're talking about. We come out here, we get Negroes like this that say complexion don't matter, but then it clearly states that Christ was black. Where's your mind at? Come on, come on, come on, bring it up. This is the book of Revelation. John 738. John 738. He is black, but what does it have to do with anything? Teach the word. This is the word, brother. Where's your brain at? Where's your brain at? Come on, man. Come on, bring it out. Come on. Come on. John 738. Come on, bring it out. This is the book of John. Chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believe it on me. This brother clearly doesn't believe on Christ, read. As the scripture had said. As the what? As the scripture had said. He's talking about bring out the word, brother. This is the word. As the scripture has said. That's right. What the hell do you think we read? Bring it out. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers 
of living water out of, the, out, of, out of this brother's mouth is flowing the words of God. That's what we out here reading. You talking about what does skin complexion have to do with it? It has to do everything. That's why you coloring the tips of your damn hair. That's why you coloring your beard. That's why the brother had to edify the sister about coloring her hair. Because you hate your damn self. Now go to Revelation 114. Now all of a sudden he ain't got no energy now. The word of God don't lie. God ain't got to come down to y'all. Who the hell is you to tell God about his word? Y'all in the slums of damn Baltimore. Doing drugs. Selling your ass. Gang banging. Who the hell are you? Read the word. The word man. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14. His head on his hairs were white like wool. It says Christ had woolly hair. What people on the face of the earth are known for having woolly, kinky hair? Black people. Negroes. One plus one equals two, man. Stop with the simplicity. Stop being stupid, man. Destruction is coming to this earth. The grocery stores are running out of food. The gas prices are sky high. We are on the brink of nuclear war. World War Three, And he coming out talking about complexion don't matter. That's why we bleaching our skin. That's why we shooting at each other. What the hell is y'all talking about, man? Read. His head on his hands were white like wool. It was white like wool. He had, a, he had gray hair. The blacks and the white hair mixed together makes gray hair, bruh. It's that simple. Right. You're not learning this in church. Your pastor's not teaching you this. And it dawned on me, bro. Our leaders are bringing out all this destruction, and the pastors ain't bringing none of this out in their churches, bro. Right. They got millions of our people sitting in the churches like lame ducks. They got a big target on their on they backs, and they not teaching the people stock up on food. Make sure you get your houses in order. Make right. sure your wife is in order. Yeah. Teach your kids the law. Because right. we don't know how long this thing is going to be before it pop off. So you might as well prepare now while you got the time to. But brothers want to come up and argue about the complexion of Christ. Right. Come on, brother. Come on. We, 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 we way past that, bro. We way past that. The white man, the, the elite white men know that Christ is black, but That's you don't right. know. That's right. That's right. That's right. The elite white men know that nuclear destruction is coming to this earth, but y'all don't know. Come on, man. His head and his ears were white like wool, Three. as white as snow, Three. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And it says his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because Christ drunk wine. He was not a drunkard, but he drunk wine. That's right. Because you Negroes drove him to drink. Right. Yes. He dealt with a lot of foolishness during this time. He died at the age of 33. I'm older than Christ. Boy. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet are like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Anybody can answer the question. If you pull out a penny, what color is the penny? It's brass. Right. Which is a derivative of brown. Right. This is simple. That's right. You talking about complexion. God describes his son in the Bible. It said that he has a complexion. The so-called white man has a complexion. Right. What the hell are you talking about? Read. And his feet like unto to find brown. And his feet were brown as if they burned in a furnace. And his feet were so brown they were dark skinned as if it burned in a furnace. Right. So Christ does have a complexion. Right. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Three. And his voice has the sound of many water. And, he's, and Christ spoke loud. His voice was amplified. Right. That's why we use a microphone, because we have to amplify our voices to get you simple Negroes to listen and wake up. Right. But y'all so used to the damn ambulances coming through your neighborhood every 10 to 15 minutes, jump starting the junkie that then overdosed on some fentanyl. Right. Y'all stepping over junkies. Is that normal to y'all? Give me uh Daniel about about uh about God. Cause God got a complexion too. I got a question. All right, hold your question, bro. I got you. Hold your question. Talking about complexion. Complexion means everything. 
black people don't have no image to look up to. The only images you got is these niggas that's on TV rapping, talking about murder, kill, murder, money, drugs, sex. That's, that's your image right there. You more than that. But you don't want to accept it. Because your head too far up the white man's ass. Read. Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. It says Daniel had a vision that all of the ancient... Uh, one second. See, this is what I'm talking about. This right here. Y'all are used to this. Y'all are used to this right here. This don't bother y'all. Read it again from the top. I beheld. Till the thrones were cast down. Daniel had a vision that all the ancient rulers, ruling powers were thrown down. They were all gone. Read. On the ancient of days that set this ancient of days is talking about God. Because he has no beginning. He has no end. He is. I have a simple question. All right. Hold your question. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow. And no, uh, another word for garment is clothes. What do you need to put clothes on? Say it again. You need a body. So this clearly identifies God has a body. He's not a puff of smoke. I'm not questioning what you're saying. I I, I'm bringing this out for edification, bro. Hold on. I got you. Read. On the hair of his head, like the pure wool. Did we not just read this in, in uh, Revelation? God had pure woolly hair like his son Christ. So clearly God is a black man too. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.